in that one quickly to mention these um this is courtesy of my favorite sneaker account uh sneaker twitter account on twitter itself formerly known as twitter of course is the one and only sock jig also check out his podcast um a very good sneaker podcast that exists out there probably one of my favorites to be honest a lot of the other ones are a little bit cringe but he posted this picture which is pretty sick of these up and coming i'm assuming um since essence exclusive salomon xt6s and I'm a little bit conflicted because I fucking hate Salomons just because of the kind of people that wear them and the fact that they've now become the most trendy shoe to exist of trendy shoes. I think they're even more popular than fucking Panda Dunks, especially in my part of London. Everybody seems to have a pair, um, especially people that you don't want to look like. So it seems a bit annoying, but I have to be honest, these particular Salomon XT6s are gorgeous. The one thing that I love about them most is this amazing um, neon green um, counter that you have here on the midsole that kind of helps to break up some of the color. And you've got a bit of the blue uh, midsole here towards the bottom. You've got a little bit of black, it looks like, and some brown and the top bits but this green sort of hit on the midsole is really something that kind of just hits me because there's something nothing i love better than neon green one of my fucking favorite colors so i love the look of these I'm not too sure when they're going to come out I'm not sure if they already come out already um no real release date at all no information apart from what um Sokchik posted first look at the salomon xt6 gore-tex essence exclusive colorway so i can't wait for these to originally drop um the funny thing about these, if they are Essence exclusive colorway, it seems like there'll be one of those things where it's not a collaboration. It's not like Essence picked the colorway, but it, it might be Solomon are doing something that Nike used to do back in the day. Nike back in the day would have... Um, nike co.jp exclusive colorway so stuff only sold in the japanese market those weren't shoes made by anybody in particular they were just shoes only particularly sold in japanese markets but it kind of allowed different accounts in different parts of the world to have different exclusive type of shoes and they used to do that a lot back in the day um nike but they don't anymore um so it'd be cool if Salomon basically took that same idea and applied it to these and were able to kind of have these, you know, store or region specific colorways. Um, that would be quite cool because then that would mean it's kind of limited, but not really because, you know, Essence is, you know, a, a, a huge online retailer. So they're obviously going to have a lot of stock, but it also will mean that you're not going to see every Tom, Dick and Harry wearing these because they're not going to be selling these in office or size and shit. So I really fucking love the look of these. They look fucking incredible. I want a pair so fucking bad. And then the other pair that I'm a bit conflicted about because I fucking hate the brand is these Solomon and Palace shoes. They look really good also, especially the black pair. Um, you know, you know, I fucking love a good pair of all black shoes. So these are not the X2, they're not the XT6s, which I love. That's my favorite model. This is called an XT Wingers 2. I'm not really familiar with the model. They look kind of similar to the XT6s, but not really. But this is a model that um, Salomon are doing with Palace. It's meant to be coming out soon. Um, they are all there's one all white colorway and an all black colorway. Obviously, the all black colorway is the one that I'm looking at for the most part. But they do look fairly decent. There's not a lot of branding on them, so maybe I could, if if I'm you know such a hater of fucking Palace, I could, I could in theory cut the logo off and the tabs right and the fucking the, the the label and maybe stick us some duct tape over the fucking heel tab so i don't have it fucking have palace on my heel as i'm walking around but they look really nice man. i like the look of these they look really really good the all black pairs are fucking bonkers looking so fucking nice i'd wear the fuck out of these all fucking day right? i'll be stomping around clapton and hackney wick and fucking new cross and brixton and shit right i'll be stomping around in these things looking all trendy and cool these look really fucking good i love the look of these actually um so there's no, two new salamons coming out um obviously i would obviously go for the essence one first because they're not a collaboration with palace and i don't wear fucking palace but if i had to wear a pair i may have to wear the blacks and may maybe sharpie out the logos and snip off the fucking palace tab that says it's here on the top or something so those are two shoes coming very soon um keep an eye out on all the main platforms to find out when they do release i'm not really too sure when but you're gonna have to keep an eye out when they do release